We are Chris and Nick Kimmons and we lead Ashford, Ashford Sings. Sings. <laughs> I love the fact that everyone is so diverse. You get every kind of people there. We have often said if you took a mug shot of everyone in the choir and put it into a photo album and handed it to someone and said, what brings these people together every week? You wouldn't have a clue. Everyone is so different and that's one of the reasons we love it. I love the singing. Yes, sometimes we're musical as well, that helps. <laughs> I would encourage someone to get involved in Ashford Sings because according to reports of people who come, it is honestly changing lives. People are feeling more confident, they're feeling better connected, they feel a part of something bigger than themselves and people are telling other people that their lives are changing just because of Ashford Sings. Who knew? Absolutely. And I would say come along to Ashford Sings because we need more people who can help us show others that they are welcome and they matter. And yeah. that's really important. So yes, come for the singing, but also come so that you can get to meet other people who really need you to show up so that they can get the best out of coming along to the choir. Yeah, I'm Steve Tennyson. I run the Table Tennis Club. Table Tennis Club is a club for anyone that would like to play table tennis. Will they do already or will they like to learn? Or even if they just want to come and watch, it's for anyone. Well, I like Table Tennis Club because I actually enjoy the game myself. That's a good start. Um, I enjoy it because I meet people that um, I wouldn't normally associate with maybe. And I enjoy watching them having fun. Yeah, well I've been doing it for just over a year now and there's a core of people that have grown to be friends, I guess. Um, I would like to see that develop more, but I, there's definitely a, a, a core of people that come regularly who are developing friendships. Well, I think for certain people getting involved in a club like this will help them make friends if they're a lonely kind of person, that will help them anyway. And I think if people want to just develop their skills in, in, in table tennis, it's a good, good place to be. Um, we have facilities there which are, are really useful. We had one guy turned up a few months ago who's an ex league player who's, a, who's agreed to coach anyone who wants to co be coached. The kind of people I'd like to have there are not necessarily people that want to play table tennis. I want people that have a, a need to be talking to other people. It's their skill. It's what they really want to do. My name's Liz Thatcher and I lead Coffee Club. Coffee Club is a place where people can gather uh, just once a month at 10.30 on the third Monday in the month at Dobby's in the restaurant. And it's a place where people can just uh, come and sit and chat. Uh, it's an opportunity for us to meet with some people who don't come out into community very often. Uh, for one person, it's the only time she actually does come out. Uh, for some people, it's the only time they get to have a cooked breakfast. What I love about Coffee Club is the opportunities for great conversations and uh, everybody um, mixes together and gels well, uh, it's great fun, we have deep conversations, we, we talk about life, sometimes we talk about faith, sometimes we get to pray for each other, but mostly we just share life together. I would encourage people to get involved by helping at Coffee Club because it will ultimately bless you in return by the opportunities to talk to people that you might not have a chance to talk to on a, on a busy Sunday morning, the opportunities to get to know people even better and to see God at work. We also need people to come along to Coffee Club with, and be intentional about ensuring that everybody is in a conversation, has a drink and is welcomed. I'm Judith and myself and Della run Bumps to Bikes. Bumps to Babes is a group for expectant mums and new parents to come with their babies up to about two years old to meet together and talk about babies and that sort of thing. We meet on a Friday morning, 10 till 11.30. I love the getting people together at a time in their life when they really need people to come alongside them, to support them and to know that they're not alone in the struggles that they're facing. We would like more people to come and get involved with Bumps to Babes, people maybe who don't have a baby with them, who could come alongside people to talk, to hold the baby, to make the tea. To get alongside people and support people would be great. Gathering groups are a way of getting people into community. All sorts of people with all sorts of different interests, they all need other people. And it's just great to bring people together, to make new friends and to 
progress together. Um, hi, I'm Hayley and I lead Toddles every Tuesday with an amazing team of about 10 of us. Toddles is a group for children up to preschool to come and play and have fun and socialise along with their parents, carers, grandparents who also come to enjoy other people's company and meet new people and feel special. I love, I love the mess, the laughter, the children's faces when they arrive and then the satisfaction of knowing that their parents are not just sitting at home, that they're, they're able to come somewhere and talk to people because I remember being one of those parents, having three children myself and it, it wasn't nice just sitting at home every day thinking I should get out but I don't know no one and I'm too scared so coming to a toddler group that means I can do all that is just brilliant. I would love people on our team. In an ideal world, we would like people to come and to have a member of AV on every single table, to have a member of AV in the baby area, and to have a member of AV, at least four members of AV, to work alongside the current team and walk around to make sure that every single person feels special. My name is Maddie Pearson and I head up your local community book club. So Book Club is a place where we get together, we read books, obviously, kind of, um, but essentially it's a place where people can meet, get to know each other, build relationships, have loads of fun, um, we drink lots of tea and we eat lots of cake, it's a brilliant place to be. So we started off with uh, one book club that we knew we had to kind of grow very, very quickly, so we now have five different book clubs, we have a daytime one and the rest are in the evenings and they're all in kind of locations in and around Ashford. Um, so there's stuff that's accessible, accessible for people who are just around in the day or if you want an evening thing then there's stuff for you as well. What I love about Book Club, so many things. I love the relationships that come out of it. Um, I love the fact that every time that I go I come back and my sides are aching because I've been laughing so much. I love the fact that we are raising up leaders, so we've raised up leaders within Book Club so we are releasing people. Uh, into new roles, we're building people's confidence. I love the fact that um, people can come along and they can show a part of themselves. So actually talking about the kind of books that you like, the kind of books that you're into can be quite a vulnerable thing. Um, but as people start to relax and feel a part of it more, they just share what they, the kind of things they love and I love that. For me, Book Club is a really easy place to get involved. It's a totally non-threatening environment. Um, we, our emphasis is about building relationships with no agenda. So we do not suddenly pull out like, the book for this month is the Bible. Uh, we don't do that. Um, we're a very, very normal bunch of people. Um, kind of normal, maybe not that normal. But yeah, it's, I think it's a really great place to be if you want to come and build some friendships. If you're feeling a bit lonely, you want to get to know some more people, it's a great place to be. Um, and yeah, we need people who love Jesus to be in these places. So come along. My name is Karen and I am part of the team who lead AV Cheer. AV Cheer started at Christmas when Ashford Sings decided to do a one-off event um, to really honour the older generation in Ashford um, by giving them a great time of festive music and festive food and some sing-along and a really good time and then it just was so good that we decided it needed to carry on. So um, in the spring we did Spring Cheer and that was also just brilliant and we decided it's going to just go on forever. So we are going to do four events every year and it's just a great opportunity to um, bring the older generation in and give them just a fantastic day of entertainment. The thing I love about AV Cheer is that um, society often dismisses the elderly and actually they have so much to give and they are some amazing personalities and um, really funny and really fun. And so AV Cheer is a brilliant opportunity to be able to um, bring them outside into a different environment, entertain them, um, give them some fun and show them that they're valued and that they're worth a lot. We need everyone. We need people who are happy to um, get their hands dirty and serve refreshments or be on welcome team. But we also need the people who are going to come and be really intentional in sitting with these people, sitting with our guests and um, talking to them and just sharing life with them. 
<laughs> I'm Charlotte and this is Laura and we're the leaders of Just Create. Coming later on this year, it's a new group, so keep an eye out for that. And it's led by us. It's led by us, well, so why do you, you want to come? <laughs> Just Create, it's a new group, it's going to be launching in September. Yeah. Um, it's about not necessarily being artistic, but being creative. It's yeah. about trying something new, giving something different a go. It's going to be a free event, so it's going to be launched... Did I just say it's going to be launched in September? It is going to be launched. It is going to be launched in September. We thought we're planning to be a big community event um, about street art. Yep. Yep. So giving people the chance to come along and have a go at something new. Hopefully, maybe fifteen different activities. The bigger purpose of Just Create is the fact that. We believe that there's a lot of creative stuff that goes on out in the community, but you need a lot of dollar to be able to partake in those things. So we wanted to let people explore their God-given creativity and come and have a go and do stuff without having to spend a lot of money and just um, find part of them that um, they were created in God's image and we're all created to create. It's also about... Um, giving people the opportunity to invite people to something that maybe isn't on offer elsewhere. Mm -hmm. um, as far as we're aware, there's not many other creative projects ongoing around Ashford. Not like this. Not like this, no, certainly not like this. I would encourage people to become part of a gathering group um, if you love being with people, if you like talking. I love talking, Laura not so much. Um, <laughs> if you want to do something that impacts on community, if you want to help people not feel lonely, if you want to move people forward in their relationship with Jesus, and just love upon them. So that's why I'd be in a gathering group. Hmm. Gathering. <laughs> I'm not doing that, I'm too sensible. No, I'm too sensible for that.